Hi everyone, this is Isaac from Compositional IT. In this video of our VS Code and F -sharp Pro series, we'll be looking at information and help features. These are perhaps more important for F -sharp than some other languages, since type inference plays a big part in how F -sharp works. So our first tip today is contextual help. Contextual help gives us some quick information based on the current symbol that the cursor is resting on. It's permanently available in the status bar. As I move around the file, notice how the panel shows type signature information on simple values as well as even complex functions. If you enable it in code, you can also get this to show the first line of an error message. Our next tip is symbol info. Pressing Ctrl K I will bring up a more detailed pop-up window with more information than that supplied by the contextual help we saw earlier. It will also work on keywords such as function and let, making it a useful educational aid. It will also show any XML comments that have been defined, as well as generic arguments to the function. Third up is parameter info. You should use parameter info if you want to force code to display information on the next parameter required by the current function you're calling. You can do this by pressing Ctrl, Shift and Space. Code will highlight in bold the name of the specific argument so that you can see which one you're in. You can also hit up and down to view alternative overloads of methods. Note that for curried functions, code will not show parameter help after the first argument, but for tupled functions and methods, it'll correctly move as you enter subsequent parameter values. Our fourth tip today is force suggestion. If you want to force code to display IntelliSense suggestions, press Ctrl and space when you're next to a dot or midway through typing a member on it, in which case code will show you a filtered list of suggestions. Our last tip today is a feature introduced specifically by Ionide for f -sharp called the Info Pane. Hit Alt and Dot to bring it up. It acts as a complete live documentation panel for symbols of all kinds. It's especially useful to gain an overview of all functions on a module, as well as a more readable version of Symbol Info to see details on a function. You can also click into links within the contents to move to other symbols as well. Info panel is especially useful for people just starting out with F-sharp, so I definitely recommend it if you're new to F-sharp. That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the session. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with future videos that we release. Have fun!